What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Future Stars objective card and it is going to be Rainier to review today. I actually had to search up the pronunciation because trust me, I thought that actually said Rainer, but apparently it isn't. Either way, I was really impressed with his 85 overall card. I love the pace on it, the dribbling, the shooting and even the strength to that card. So I'm actually surprised that that wasn't the final version and this is the final version. Either way, he is 6 foot 1, high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves with a four star weak foot he has 91 pace 89 dribbling 87 shooting 86 passing with the 83 physicals as well now when it comes down to the chem style hunter chem style is the chem style i have personally gone for simply because i gave the other card the 85 card and hunter chem style as well and it was absolutely unbelievable the other chem style that you could possibly go for is the marksman chem style i feel like the marksman chem style on this card would be absolutely insane as well so i will most likely switch it to a marksman chem style probably halfway through this review just to see how much better it is when it comes down to his dribbling on the ball so he has got 99 acceleration with the 99 sprint speed so he's going to be absolutely insanely fast his shooting ability is 92 attacking positioning 97 finishing 97 shot power 82 long shots 99 volleys with the 96 penalties as well has he got any shooting traits unfortunately he doesn't one thing about this objective card that is very weird in a way is the fact that he didn't get a skill move upgrade or even a weak foot upgrade when you're going up so you went from a i believe it's a 79 to an 82 82 from an 85 and an 85 to an 87 and none of them got a skill move upgrade or a weak for upgrade so that is quite disappointing from ea the fact that they didn't make that you know quite interesting and he didn't even bother giving this guy like a finesse shot trait or like even an outside foot shot trait so another disappointing thing that i really didn't enjoy either way passing ability 94 vision, 78 crossing, 74 free accuracy, 90 short passing, 80 long passing with a 97 curve as well. That 97 curve is going to be very, very nice. His long passing doesn't seem outstandingly good, but his short passing looks very, very good to the point where you could possibly play this guy in a cam position and he would actually play really well there. Now his dribbling ability, he's got 93 agility, 84 balance, 84 reactions, 88 ball control, 91 dribbling with the 88 composure. I must admit, the dribbling on his 85 wasn't insane but it was still pretty decent for a six foot one player and that's why i'm a bit worried because i need to make sure i give you guys the right chem style i need to make sure i use the hunter and the marksman and tell you guys which one to actually go for because i feel like the hunter might be the way to go but at the same time i'm looking at the reactions i'm looking at stuff like the dribbling and the ball control and i think to myself that might need a little bit of an upgrade especially for a six for one player Either way, his physicals is 88 stamina, which means he will be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. He's got 85 strength and 76 aggression. Just strength was something I absolutely loved about his 85. How he was using it so in so many occasions to kind of shield off opponents and kind of body them off out of the way. It was just ridiculous to see. Either way, when it comes down to the links, I've got Witzel and Deco. Some of you may know, I got a Deco at the base to mid icon pack. Am I happy? No. But we move on. We move away from that, you know? I've also got like a Curtis Jones, Son, and Mahrez in this team. I will be using Rainier in a 4 4 2 in that striker position, in a 4 2 3 1 in that cam position. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to look at is his dribbling. Is it similar to the 85 or is it better? That's the real question. Okay. Oh, it's better. Yeah, it is better. 100% is better. You can see those little precise touches that he's actually taking. He didn't really do that with his 85. Can we get a goal? Nah, just, just got tackled at the last second. Right now on the ball. Going to try to get in behind here with that pace. Hopefully he can. Going to go down. I knew he was going to try to read out. That's why I went down. Give it a little shimmy. There you go. That's perfect. Really nice finish with that weaker foot across goal. Through the middle. Nice little pass. Give it a little hill to hill. Use that pace to get in behind. I'm going to go for the little chip. And Edison is going to put out a save. But we are eventually going to get a goal. I think this guy's going to instantly rage quit. He couldn't handle Reyna's pace to get in behind. Going to dummy that. Give it to Deco. Deco to Rainier. Maybe back to Deco. Deco, let's see what you can do, lad. Can we pass it? First time fake shot. Really wasn't the first time. I tried to do it first time, but it didn't really work out. But it eventually did. Either way, really nice finish. And this is what I saw from the 85 card as well. The finishing ability on this card is just ridiculous. It was the exact same for the 85. The angles you can score at is just out of this world. It really is, boys. Deco over to Witzel. To Rainier. 
Nice little dummy. Use that pace to try to get in behind. Look at that pace coming to play. No, that's a really good tackle from Alexandro. Curtis Jones through the middle. Well played. Good little turn as well. Really nice touch. Can I give it back to him? I can give it back to him. Going to go for that left-footed finish. And he's actually not going to hit it into the corner. Wait, hold up a second. Maybe I can give it to him back. Scoop turn. Nice scoop turn. Dish nah, boys. There's no way. There's absolutely... So you're telling me I just said one thing I loved about his 85 card was his finishing. And then he goes ahead and misses those two opportunities. Come on. Going to go for that dummy. Little cheeky heel to heel. I must admit, right, his dribbling is good. It's just not on an insane level. Like, there is certain occasions where you can actually, like, kind of notice it a little bit. And this guy wants to miss, like, there's no tomorrow all of a sudden. I'm, I literally sat there and said he's 85 was outstanding at finishing. Maybe he's uh, 87 is going to be the same. And then now he wants to miss all his chances. Like, what's happening? Straight for the middle. Nice. Going to go for that pass right there. Those kind of passes I'm expecting him to make. Especially with that 90 short passing. We'll roll around the keeper and we are going to get the goal. Whistle. Straight in the middle. Well played. Give it to Curtis Jones. He is so aggressive by the way. Like he's always on the last man. Trying to make those runs in behind. And he does it so perfectly with the Hunter Chem style. I'm telling you boys. This guy with that Hunter Chem style. He can literally outpace anyone. And the runs he makes to get into the open spaces. They're top tier. Going to give it to Rainier. He's just coming short time to time, I must admit. Like, he is very aggressive. Like, right there, he's making these random runs. But they're, like, good runs at the same time, you know. They're very unexpected runs from my opponent's side. Can we get a finish? Oh, my God, I'm telling you, boys. He, like, you saw how many chances he missed, like, what, last game? And then all of a sudden, he's hitting them top bins now. Son, going to give it to him again. Look at that pace. He made a very weird kind of... Like, sideways run there in a way. I should have passed that. I saw, like, a wide open gap right there at the last second for a sweat. R1 dribble. Oh, he's R1 dribbling doesn't seem insane. Yeah, he's R1 dribbling doesn't seem crazy. That's something I actually didn't check on his 85 overall card. But at least we know on the 87. Can I go for that? Oh, my boy. He's like, come on, man. I'm telling you. His finishing ability is insane. Like, look at this top bins he ain't gonna save that but yeah that's something i didn't try on his 85 i didn't try the r1 dribbling and apparently on this card is not that great so i'm gonna guess it's the exact same for the 85 card so we have switched it to the marksman chem style now i'm gonna see obviously the difference when it comes down to the dribbling hopefully he does actually feel better on the ball because with the hunter chem style i must admit he feels good it's just he doesn't feel on an insane level and maybe that marksman chem style can maybe actually push him to that insane level but he still gets stuff like his shooting ability he obviously loses the plus five to his attacking positioning and he does obviously lose that 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed which he did have with the hunter chem style but let's give this a go let's see how it actually is i'm I'm hoping he does feel much, much better on the ball, but we'll see. Little ball roll there. Oh, okay. Okay, hold up a second. Now, let me do a lack of care to cancel, to heal to heal, ball roll. Gonna go for that fake shot. Yeah, he feels way more responsive, and that is because that reactions have actually been increased. Yeah, Marksman Kevin Star Boys, I'm telling you right now, is really, really nice for dribbling. Like, you can 100%. 100% notice the difference when it comes down to the marksman chem style to obviously the hunter chem style and the thing is right you know the hunter is always going to be absolutely amazing with this card with the pace and the shooting and all of that but with the marksman chem style you're going to get that dribbling ability so let's say you're playing someone that's actually parking the bus you rather off with a marksman chem style than a hunter chem style because if they're parking the bus you're not obviously going to get in behind while with the marksman chem style you can kind of wiggle, wiggle your way through them Rennie and ball that's nice, boys. I'm telling you right now. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. I'm telling you right now, you cannot do that with the Hunt Cam stuff. Like, it's not. No, no chance. Absolutely no chance. It's just one of those ones that with the Hunt Cam stuff, they, there's these certain angles that you can actually notice that is a bit weird with him, where he takes a little bit of an extra touch, which he doesn't really need to. While with this card, it's a bit more fluent, you know? Into the middle. Going to go for that fake shot. Can I get it? You can notice the pace. That is something I must admit. You can actually notice the pace by a decent amount as well. So it kind of comes down to personal preference, if anything. Do you want to be more agile on the ball? If you do, go for a marksman. If you want him to obviously get in behind with that 99 acceleration and that 99 sprint speed, go for a Hunter Chem style. Through that middle, well played. 
Can I get this ball to over to Son? That's a really good pass. I'm going to try to get it back to him. I'm going to go for a first time shot. I was about to say, if that's not a penalty, I don't know what it is. Either way, let's see if we can score this goal with him. Hopefully we can. It was a really nice movement, by the way, to him actually to notice where the open space was. He's got 91 penalties, so I'm expecting a little cheeky, you know, a little cheeky top bin finish. Let's see if we can get it there first. Oh, what's happening? Look, what's this? Oh, boys, I'm panicking. I'm, I think I missed it. Okay. If he dived the right way, well, he saved it. It's simple as that because that was nowhere near the corner. Don't worry. Nice. Good movement from him right there. Well played to actually end up getting that ball. Right here, the Hunter Chem style. Yeah, right there, the Hunter Chem style would have came into play 100%. He gets a lot of rebounds, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. I'm telling you, boys. I'm telling you. For a free card? Are you disappointed on what you're seeing on your screen? That's the real question. So it is time to review him. Four games played, 10 goals scored with a single assist as well. Boys, you cannot be disappointed. You really, really can't. Can I get a like on this video for 10 goals, please? Because it's outrageous how we actually ended up scoring 10 in only four games. But yeah, really nice card. Really nice card. Like his shooting ability, his pace, his dribbling, his passing, and even his physicals is really, really good as well. Which chem style do I personally prefer? I would honestly say the marksman because my play style is in a way I pass it around with the CDMs, you know, hit it to the wingers and all of that, then give it to my striker, dribble a little bit with skill moves as well, and then try to create that opportunity to smash the ball into the back of the net rather than, you know, you know just ping the ball all the way from one side of pitch completely to the other and use his pace again behind. I'm not really that kind of player. So if you are that kind of player, go for a hunt chem style. But if you're more of a player that, you know, likes to pass it around, try to create your opportunity and give it to the striker inside the box, do a few dribbles, boom, go. Use the marksman chem style. It's way, way better, especially when it comes down to the dribbling. Trust me. Either way, this card, do I believe it's worth it? Obviously. Come on now. Come on, you're getting this card right here, but you're not just getting this card. You're also getting an 85 overall, which you can use as fodder to put into another SBC. It's always going to be worth it. And you know, you don't have to sit there and rush it. Like this uh, card, I believe is an objective for a decent amount of time. So just take your time on it. It is obviously a lot of games. I completed it. I believe it was... How long was it? I think it was like an hour 30, hour 45. It took me a decent amount. Let's just say that. But it is a decent amount of games. Just take your time with it. You don't obviously have to rush it. Either way, when it comes down to the ratings, I'm going to give them two different ratings when it comes down to the pace, simply because it makes sense. Hunter chem style, marksman chem style. Hunter, I would give him, I would honestly say, like a 9.4 slash a 9.5 out of 10. Insane when it came down to his pace. I didn't feel like he was on no Alfonso Davis, team of the year kind of level, but I still feel like it deserves a very high rating. With the marksman chem style, I'll probably give it like a, I'll probably say like a 9 out of 10. I feel that's reasonable. Shooting ability, loved it. I really, really loved it. The only thing that you could obviously argue about is the fact that he doesn't have any shooting trait. All right. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, I'll probably say like a 9.5 out of 10. A 9.5 slash a 9.6. Insane, boys. Absolutely insane. Passing ability. Loved the short passing. The long passing, I actually felt like it was pretty decent. I just didn't feel like it was very consistent. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a, an 8.5 slash an 8.6 out of 10. Dribbling ability. Two different ratings once again. Marksman chem style, I would honestly say like a 9.2 slash a 9.3. And with the Hunter chem style, I'll probably give it like an 8.7 slash an 8.8. .8. You obviously can notice the difference between the two once you actually use this guy with two different chem styles. Just keep that in mind. Physicals, stamina was really nice. Strength was really nice with the marksman. Like no joke, boys. The amount of times I saw this guy just push a player off the ball was ridiculous. So with the marksman chem style, when it comes down to the physicals, I am honestly going to give him, I'll probably say like a, I'll probably say like a solid 8.7, 8.8 out of 10. And with the hunter chem style, it wasn't much worse. It really wasn't. So I'm going to give it like an 8.5 out of 10 for the hunter. But an overall rating out of 10, He's obviously going to get a high rating. He deserves it. I'm going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.9. I feel like an 8.9 is very reasonable. He's an insane card. He really is. If you guys don't get this card, you're going to regret it. It's simple as that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.